When we are arranging scenes in Blender, duplicating the same object using instances can significantly save memory. We need to place each object into an individual collection first, then create a new collection instance. But you'll notice that the origin of the instance has deviated. This is because the original object's location is not at the world origin. How do we resolve this? You can locate the original model, modify the location parameters in object within collections, or press Alt plus G to reset the original object's position to the coordinate origin. But these two operations are too cumbersome. Is there a more convenient method? Certainly. Today, I will teach everyone how to instance objects in geometry nodes, which is extremely beneficial for creating CG scenes. Let's begin. We first close the collection of the instance original object, create a new plane, merge the plane into a point, create a new geometry nodes, add an instance on points node, incorporate the collection of our instance original object, select separate children and reset children, then connect to instance. Now all objects in the collection have appeared. This is not what we want. So we select pick instance, then connect the instance index to a new control item on the group input node. Next, we can freely copy, move, rotate, and scale these instances. You can also switch between different objects in the instance source collection from the controller operation panel. Very convenient, isn't it? What else is operable? Let's switch to render mode. We see that all source objects are using the same material. What if I want to change the color of one of the trees? We can operate within the geometry nodes, add a store named attribute, node to define a new attribute for the instance, change domain to instance. This is crucial because we are adding attributes to instance objects, so domain should be set to instance, change store named attribute to color. Adjust the default values brightness to one, name can be arbitrary. I will use call here, copy a group input node, add a new control port to the value. Next, we find the leaf material, switch to the material window. We need to change the colors of base color and translucent color. Add a mix color node, set factor to one, choose color blend mode. Add an attribute node. Change type to instance. Enter call for name. It's important that the type and name of the attribute node match the attributes we defined in the geometry nodes. Then we can select the instance object to customize the color in the controller panel. We replicate the node down and also add it to translucent color. Nice. What if we want a tree without leaves? Let's add another attribute. This time we change the data type to Boolean, name it no leaf. Add another control port to this attribute. We find the leaf material and mix a transparent node to the end of the node. Invoke our newly added no leaf attribute. Then we can customize which trees have no leaves. For ease of use, we can customize the names of the control items added in geometry nodes. Simply double click in the right panel to rename. The operations we just change the leaf color and remove the leaves in principle involve adding attributes to instance in geometry nodes, then calling attributes in the material. With this approach, you can create many possibilities. We can also set materials individually for instance objects. I have four Susan instance objects here. We add a set material node, link material to group input. Next, we can set materials individually for each instance. Isn't it convenient? Let's look at this case. When I was creating this effect picture, there were snow-capped mountains behind the horse's mane. 
the snow on these mountains was too bright, causing the contour of the horse's neck to not be prominent enough. But I didn't want to change the snow on other mountains. What to do? I added a new attribute to the mountains instance. Change the attribute value to 1. Then called this attribute in the material to individually adjust the snow height for this mountain. This made the mane on the horse's neck stand out more. It improved our work. And I hope this technique can elevate your work to the next level. Goodbye.